Hey guys, let's talk in Genesis 49 about the very first of the prophecies given to the sons of Jacob that we talked about yesterday. So if you didn't watch yesterday's, go back, check that out. It'll kind of give you exactly where we're at and what we're doing. Verse 3, it says, Reuben, you are my firstborn, my strength, the child of my vigorous youth. You are first in rank and first in power, but you are as unruly as a flood. You will no long you will be first no longer. For you went to bed with my wife, you defiled my marriage couch. So Reuben being the firstborn, he had claim to the inheritance right and the blessing of the firstborn, but he forfeited it because of his pride and because of what he did. He actually slept with one of Jacob's uh, concubines. And so that was a big no-no. He actually did that with Bilhah in Genesis chapter 35, who was the mother of the tribes of Dan and Naphtali. So you see the big problem that we've got here. Jacob is not going to have this. And he refers to him, he says, but you are as unruly as a flood. So because of this, the birthright was divided. Usually the firstborn was the spiritual and social leader of the family, right? he would take over as the, the, the patriarch of the clan. But among the sons of Israel, it was divided. The blessing, the priesthood, the ruling authority, they were divided. So it's really decentralized now. It had passed through Abraham, everything, to Isaac, everything, to Jacob, everything. And now it's going to be divided amongst these, amongst these sons instead of united in one place. And the tribe of Reuben never did excel. There's no prophet, there's no judge, there's no king, there's, there's none of that that comes from this tribe. And being the firstborn son should have. But because of Reuben's sin, the tribe will never be blessed in the same way that we will see with, say, um, the tribe of Levi or the tribe of Judah. It, it, won't, it won't happen. Or even the tribe of Ephraim, the half-tribe. Uh, that's one of Joseph's sons that uh, Jacob adopted. So Reuben's sin will see itself played out through his descendants for generations to come. It's not a very pleasant prophecy, right? But it is the truth of what had happened. There was judgment because of the sin of Reuben. And we'll talk more about the next son tomorrow.